I think, Chris, all along, you had a desire to be to change. You, 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 yeah. you all along, you didn't want to be the alcoholic and drug addict, but you just you didn't have the tools to change, or that was a a, a passing, fleeting moment, and then you went, no, but this is so much fun, or the addiction played games with your your, your thoughts and. Can you explain mm-hmm. that part? I can for sure. And it's a little bit of all of that. It's um so part of it was um the it was a fleeting willingness. So it would come at a moment of weakness and I'd say, yes, I need help. Mm-hmm. And then if I didn't act on that, on that emotion or that 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 notion of I need help, you know, it would pass very quickly. Or I would um go and get help, but then I'd I'd pull back from it because I knew I needed it, but I didn't have the willingness or the commitment to really go after it. Um, and and I will say also, um, there was a part of me that always said, you're not done yet. There was something in my mind that said, you know, you're not done yet. Like there, you've still got a little bit more in you. And Meaning a little more of the party animal, the, 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 the drug and alcohol addict. That you're not done yeah. yet. Yeah. Yeah, and well, why isn't that great? What well, well, you knew that this this wasn't good for me in in those moments, but when you are drunk or under the effects of of drugs, there was that moment of feeling better and your, your problems are gone. And were you still experiencing that? Like, remember you said the first time you drank alcohol, you're like, "Whoa, the 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 issues went away." But now here you are, twenty years later, still mm-hmm. doing it. Um, yeah. And was it th- that that same when I take the drugs, when I take the alcohol, those parts of me go away, and there's a new guy. But but you you've you've been saying yourself that that transition, the way other people saw you, but uh-huh. the way you saw you when you were the the drug and alcohol on drugs and alcohol, was it still the same as when you first started when you were thirteen? No, very much quite the opposite. Um, it was, um, I felt a lot of shame around my. Uh, drug and alcohol use and abuse. I also, um, I think any any relief that I got from using or drinking was so short lived, and I would chase it. So it was like, okay, I felt good for fifteen minutes. I if I if I do more, I'll feel good for another fifteen minutes. If I do more, maybe I'll feel. I was always chasing that euphoric or that sort of like separation from who, like what I was dealing with inside. Um, But as time went on, um, I, I want to say that there was no running from like, there was no amount of alcohol or drugs that I could take that would allow me to detach from the way I felt about myself. And so at that point I, it was, it was a physical, emotional and mental dependence on it. And also very much the fear of the unknown. What if I don't have it? What is life going to be like without it? Because, you know, it originally started out as my crutch. um, And I had carried that crutch with me for, you know, 17 years. And I I didn't, I knew I didn't want it, but I didn't know how to let go of it. Um, Yeah, it's a very, the, the, the grips of addiction are very difficult to, to properly explain unless you've, unless you've actually lived that because the cycle is so insane. And we think that every time we do it, that this, this time will be different. We, we, and we truly believe that, you know, we, we believe that this time it's not going to be so bad, or this is the, this time it'll work out in my favor. This time, you know, I'll do it like a regular person, you know, I'll drink like a regular person. And that was something that I tried, you know, because I had friends that could go out and, you know, go to a bar, watch a sports game and and have two or three drinks and then go home to their wife and kids. Mm. But m- once I had one or two drinks, it was off to the race. I was gone for three, four days, usually with no sleep. Yeah. Um, and, and I didn't know. Would you so- also, would you also go, you know what, well, this will be my last time. Would you, would you do that as well? How many yeah, I'd say this- do you reckon you had? Oh, hundreds, yeah. hundreds of last times. Yeah. And even more warnings of I'll never do it again. Yeah. Um, yeah, that I mean, I think a lot of people can relate to that. Yeah. <laughs> but as I said earlier, it's very interesting how quickly we forget the pain of yesterday 
And, you know, this, for me, the second that, you know, I could be, I could be like so deep in, in regret and remorse and shame and guilt about things that I had done and people I'd hurt. Um, and the second that I started to feel a little bit better or the second that I got another drink, it was like, okay, I mean, that that's it. I don't have to worry about that for a period of time anymore. Okay. And, and I just, you know, I could go on a three or four day bender, take a day off. And then the next day, if I felt okay, I forgot how, how awful it was, you know? And I just thought it's going to be different this time. I'll and and just awful. on that, when you say yeah. if I felt okay, was that as in physically? Cause the abuse that you had put through your body, like, does that mean if I felt okay physically, meaning my stomach's, I'm not being physically ill or I haven't got a pounding headache or I haven't got this lethargy or, or did you mean more so disregard the, the shit state in which you must have felt physically emotionally yeah. I'm feeling okay. I'll go again. When you say feeling okay. I meant physically because I never felt emotionally. Okay. Okay. Got it. Mate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think if I ever did feel emotionally okay, I wouldn't have to reach for another substance. Yeah. Got you it. know, I, and I, uh, you know, the interesting thing about uh, addiction is that, you know, we 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 think that it takes care of our problems and that it allows us to escape our, our, our realities. But really, we're just compounding more and more trauma and, you know, uh, negative experiences to our ex already existing problems.